You know, sometimes in photography, I like to unwind a bit. So for me, it's not all about getting smashed with wind, pelted with rain, or even shooting a sunset on the side of a volcano. Today, I'm going to relax. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to do a sunset shoot. This sunset shoot is with an old friend. So when I mean old friend, I mean someone that I met back in 2012 when I was here in Scotland. Didn't really get the shot I wanted back then, but this time I'm pretty determined to get it. And I think I'm going to get it because I've got good conditions. And the friend I'm talking about is this guy, Island Donnan Castle. It's one of my favourite castles in the world. Fell in love with it back in 2012. Uh, for those movie buffs, you've probably have seen it in uh, a couple of movies. There's one called Highlander, which had uh, Sean Connery in it. Uh, the other one is a James Bond film called The World Is Not Enough. And uh, in that film, they actually used it as a base for MI6. is this. I'm sitting here with this absolutely beautiful castle. I'm all set up. I've got my Nikon D810 with the 16 to 35 on about 28 mil. It's beautiful reflection of the castle and the water here. And I've got a uh, two-stop uh, 0.6 ND grad, soft grad, just taking the edge off the sky. A bit later I'm going to try a little bit of a long exposure when those clouds go a bit pink so I can get a bit of a, a nice um, colour in the sky there. Just a few little facts about this island Dunnan Castle is it actually used to be like it was, it was ruins and they rebuilt it in between the years of 1912 to 1932. They've done a great job restoring it back to its original beauty, fantastic. So the last time I was here in 2012 was actually in June. Well back then you had like 20 hours of daylight and about 3 hours of darkness. So it was pretty hard to try and get a shot at night. <laughs> I was here at about, I don't know, 1am just to get some uh, uh, darkness. And that time there was orange lights underneath the bridge and they don't come on anymore. Don't know why, but they don't. The other thing is, the tide was always out, particularly at night when I wanted to do it. So I only had a limited time frame back then, but this time I've got more time. So I'm actually here on full tide, which is perfect. And the water is still, which is great for reflection. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put a two-stop ND grad in with my lens, set on about 28 mil, I'm going to drop in a 10 stop ND grad behind that filter just to give me that long exposure with the cloud. The cloud is moving beautifully. Have a look at the sky over here. I've got sunbeams coming through the cloud and it's reflecting perfectly in the water. So I've got the frame, I've got the frame just wider now and I'm just capturing that whole scene where I've got the beautiful sunbeams on the top of the cloud, the reflection of Island Donning Castle and the reflection of the bridge. This is beautiful. But see, this is it. This is about just sitting back, relaxing, enjoying photography, enjoying the outdoors and enjoying your environment and just taking it all in. 
you know, seeing the magic of the world and capturing it through your camera, it's just, there's something about it, something magical about it. And that's why photography is so popular, I think. Just got a feeling I'm going to get some nice pink in that sky. When it does, I'm going to do two shots. One shot normal. Actually, I'm going to do three. One shot just framed normally at about 28 mil where I've just got the castle and the bridge with the reflection and the pink sky. Next one I'll do will be a panorama looking completely across the whole lock to get the whole reflection in. And the third one will be a long exposure where I get the nice streaks of cloud going across the top of the castle. Oh, I've just had to resort to an umbrella out of nowhere, out of nowhere. This shower just came flying in behind me, so I've just got a, uh, an umbrella up over my camera gear at the moment because I didn't get time to put my wet weather gear on. The great thing is, this is just a shower and I can see right behind it, there is some beautiful color coming, like in terms of blue sky, starting to get that orangey type pink cloud. So just wait for this shower to finish and then we'll get back to work. I've got this amazing pink happening in the sky now and the lights have just come on the castle and I've got this still water in front of me beautiful reflection straight into the water and I've got a long exposure going so the long exposure is going to go for about three minutes that's at f11 for about three minutes at ISO 100 at 24 mil and infinity focus now the other thing you've got to remember is always cover up the back of your eyepiece when you're doing a long exposure otherwise you're going to get light leakage come in on top of your shot if you have done a shot in the past, you probably have noticed like a pink or a purple blur has come onto your shot. That's light leakage coming in the back of your viewfinder. So what I've done is I've closed up my viewfinder at the back, infinity focus, a 0.6 ND grad on the front with my 10 stop ND on the front. And I'm just waiting for this to finish. I think this one is it. I think this one's gonna be a magic shot. Fingers crossed. That was fun i enjoyed that i ended up getting the three shots that i wanted that long exposure with that bit of pink in the sky uh, that just that normal shot with the normal reflection and i also got a panorama i'd say a couple of those will go up on my wall at home thanks very much for watching i really appreciated your company uh, if you like this uh, video please give it the thumbs up also always feel free to subscribe to my channel for more photographic adventures that's it from Island Dunnan Castle in Scotland. I'll see you next time.